So all that shit about going to the gym every day, working out 99 times a day and all of that good stuff. Let's just put that to the side for now and let's talk about what you're eating, okay? This is just my story. I am not a professional. I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that. This is just my story on how I lost weight. So yeah, if you're interested, stay tuned. I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm not telling y'all what to eat. I'm just telling you what happened to me. So let's start off with stress. Mm. Stress, you guys, can make you gain weight, believe it or not. It made me gain weight. Um, stress eating made me gain weight. Um, being in a abusive relationship with a feeder. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I just learned what that is by watching uh, My 600 Pound Life. And a lot of those people, their husbands or wives or whatever, would be feeders. And that is just a person that just wants you to be big they're insecure as fuck, so they just want you fat, lazy, and around the house. And I was going through that, but I didn't know that I was going through that at the time. So it was just like, I'd be depressed anyway, or whenever I'm trying to go on a diet, this person in particular would be like, oh, you're hungry? You're hungry? Eat this, eat that. Dude, I didn't even eat the breakfast that you made me. Like, stop. It came to the point that I was ending the relationship, and... You know, towards the end of the relationship, he just kept saying, you know, you're hungry, you're hungry. I'm like, no. And he would cook me these. If you guys rock with me on Instagram especially, then you know that I used to have these big ass plates of food. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Well, years back, maybe I would say like four or five years back. If you saw those plates, nine out of ten, I didn't cook that. That, that was like made for me. So... And it's just like, I ate it at the time because like I said, I didn't know. I was just like eating depressed and going through this with my kids and all kinds of other stuff was going on. So basically all of that stuff was stress related. So I packed on the pounds. Now the picture that I'm about to show you guys, you already saw it on Instagram if you follow me there. But this picture, yeah, you guys like, I didn't even know I was that big. First of all, let's just analyze the goddamn picture, okay? Um, first of all, I had on a girdle that day. I remember this day. I had on a girdle, and I just remember feeling so cute. That's why I got that goofy-ass smile on my face. I was feeling so cute because those jeans that I had on, I just got them, and I just found a pair of jeans that could fit me. Again, I didn't even know I was this big, okay? I, I didn't know. I really didn't know. I guess you could say I was in some type of denial or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, in this picture, I thought I was cute as fuck. But look at this picture, goddammit. Do you see that spare tire that's under my flat-ass boobs? Now, my boobs were flat in that picture because I had on a girdle. So I really thought, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. Like, I look good. Girl. <laughs> my homegirl took that picture at the time and I finally looked at it again maybe a few years ago when I started um waist training again if you guys follow me you you know that I was on a weight loss journey a while ago so it was like yeah I knew I was big but I didn't know I was that big and I just wanted to slim down it was like my body was telling me to slim down and I just wasn't listening and then I had this person in my ear talking about do you are you hungry and just feeding me all these delicious food look I didn't have to eat this shit I know that's what y'all saying bitch you ain't have to eat it I know that <laughs> I know I didn't have to eat it but a bitch was fat and greedy and so I ate it you know what I'm saying like somebody cook you this delicious dinner that you love all of these foods you gonna fuck with it so I did and that's how I gained that weight Y'all, this video gonna be all over the place because one, I'm in my office. I'm not even really comfortable in here, but, and I'm smoking. I'm high as fuck. But I just wanted to talk to you guys because I have a voice and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are probably going through the same shit that, you know, I went through. 
Um, if you guys want like further details and like how to get through an abusive relationship or how to survive a relationship or how to survive a breakup and how do you get back into you and things that you know I do to get back into myself um I can tell you one of the things I do to get back to myself is loving me a little more um basically that just means getting the fuck out of the fucking bed and doing something with myself whether it's my makeup on my hair just something that makes me feel good i'll go get my nails done or my feet done just pamper yourself do something that you love for yourself that you know makes you feel good that has nothing to do with anybody else but you that's one thing i could tell y'all before the main video so let's fast forward to what should i say i could pick up from all right i did the waist training that was a flop because like i said you know this person was still here in my life so let's fast forward to when he left he's gone the relationship is over so now I'm starting to lose his weight but it's not really coming off because I'm still eating I'm, I'm still here like I'm still eating my cheeseburgers like girl cheeseburgers cookies cakes all of that shit mind you I had type 2 diabetes high blood pressure uh, what else? <laughs> Just all types of shit like asthma. I still have asthma here and there, but it's not as bad as it was, you know, last year. But yeah, all these freaking different ailments, bro. I'm sitting here like I'm fucked up. But I was getting weight. I was getting better. I was losing weight and I was feeling a little better. And then I started noticing that I was losing weight, and I was like, okay, this. This is some this is some shit. Let's fast forward. I'm still I'm still big though. I'm still about I would say I was still in the 200, maybe I was about 260 at this time. Remember I said I was losing weight, so I had to be about close to 300 pounds at that time when I was in a relationship. Like the whole relationship, I was probably close to 300 pounds because like I said, I was diagnosed with diabetes and all types of other shit, so. So now I'm feeling good about myself, but I still got issues going on. Like, you know, personal shit, children, um, dating shit. Like, ugh, because I'm, I'm in it now. Like, it's like, okay, now I'm back out there and trying to get back out there and just going through a whole bunch of personal shit, more stress. So um, my weight at this point is fluctuating, but not to the point that I had to get rid of all of my fat clothes. I still have all my fat clothes, mostly because most of my clothes were leggings. That's another thing. When you wear leggings a lot, you don't notice your weight because of the fucking material. Like you could gain weight and you could still fit your leggings like because they stretch so goddamn much. But when you start losing weight and noticing your fucking leggings that were tight as fuck that you could barely get into before, are baggy now it's just like okay something's up but that's that's way in the future okay so we we, we bear with me y'all because i'm smoking okay so i'm all over the place but i just want y'all to know how i got here you know just giving y'all a little preview of how i got here okay so now i remember where i was <laughs> so i'm feeling a little good or whatever but then i'm still a little stressed out at the same time so a friend of mine asked me out and it's like yo you know let's go out we usually go out every now and then so we go out and we were supposed to meet up in the city we did however this particular day i am not feeling it so let me back up a little bit before i get into that um with my complications that i was telling you guys i had diabetes high blood pressure and all that good stuff I also used to have heart palpitations. This is probably going to help somebody as far as what happened to me. I had heart palpitations. That's another reason or way I knew that I was just way too heavy or out of shape or whatever the case may be. I'd be in the shower, taking showers. I'm like, why am I so tired? Why am I sweating? Why am I so hot? Like, it's because you're fat. That's why. But we ain't going to get into that. <laughs> but it's just like, yo, it's shit like that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm huge. So I would have these heart palpitations, even in my sleep or just turning over in my sleep, different 
positions and some shit. I'm just like, my heart is just beating out of my chest. But usually, I can calm it down. Like, I'll just calm myself down, calm down my breathing, and it'll go away. At least that's what I thought. So fast forward to me and my friend going out, right? So we going out, and I'm having these heart palpitations the whole time. Because I met up with him in the city, but out here in Staten Island, we have a ferry that takes us to the city. So I take a lift um, to the ferry. I'm fine at that point. Once I started walking, I was like, okay, here go these heart palpitations again. Remember, I get these all the time. So I'm thinking, I'm good. I could just sit down. It's going to go away. That did happen. It slowed down. However, this day, it just didn't stop. Like, it just, I couldn't get it to really calm down the way I needed it to so that I can go on with my day. So I meet up with my friend and he's just like, you know, for about the good, about good 10 minutes, he kept asking me, are you okay? Are you good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. But unbeknownst to me, I'm sweating. I mean, I was sweaty anyway because I was big. So, but this day, I didn't feel myself sweating. I didn't, The it was just the heart palpitations. That was it. And it was just like, yo, walked up the subway steps. And we started walking towards 42nd Street. And he was just like, are you okay? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I kept saying I'm good. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm like get the fuck out. Like, let's go. And uh, I think by the time we got to, I believe it was 43rd Street, he asked me one more time. And I said, I, I, I'm not, I'm not good. And at that point, I can't even really explain what was happening because there was no pain for me it was just i was just fading I, I guess i could say i was fading um because it was just getting worse because i was anxiety and now i'm outside and in the middle of times square and my friend is noticing all of this stuff and i'm just like what is happening so i get to 43rd and he he pulls me over across the street I just could tell you what I remember. I wish he was here so he could tell you his perspective because it's crazy. But um, maybe one day I'll bring him in on this video and he can tell you guys what he witnessed. But in the meantime, um, yeah, so we get to, he pulls me over. We're up against this wall and at this point he's calling 911. Now again, we're in the middle of Times Square. It's This is before COVID and everyone is out. You know what I'm saying? So I was just going, like I was just fading. Like I felt my heart just going boom, boom, boom. And it just would not stop. Next thing you know, I just remember him like holding me up against the wall and saying they're coming, they'll be here. He was just so fucking calm, y'all. It was not even funny. He was just so calm. Like I remember him being calm because I was just, I was just fading away like I was like I can't I, I just remember saying like, I can't stand up or something like that and then he was like it's okay you're gonna be here they're gonna be here soon because like I said he called 911 so I'm falling I feel myself I remember feeling myself sliding down the wall next thing you know I'm being awakened by I believe it was the fire department and because I believe they responded first and it was just crazy. They they had to bring me back. I was in the ambulance. They had to bring me back in the ambulance. It was just a lot. I basically had a heart attack outside in the middle of 43rd Street, 42nd, whatever, Times Square. And it was like one of the most craziest things. I can't even say I was embarrassed because I wasn't. I just, I was just gone, okay? Like, I was gone. It's not like in the movies. For me, it wasn't like in the movies. I'm not going to discredit anybody's heart attack. But for me, it was mild. So I wasn't just like, oh my God. It really wasn't that dramatic. It was just like, I was just fading. No pain at all. So fast forward, I ended up having heart surgery. Um, Follow me on Instagram, you guys, because I really do keep you guys updated on a lot of the things that goes on in my life. And that'll be in the description box. So yeah, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I'm, I'm now having heart surgery, but I'm still going through stuff with my kids. Like, it's still drama, it's ridiculous. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I end up back in the hospital because my pressure went up and it's just, it was a lot. 
And fast forward to now, I'm okay, but around the time I had the heart attack, between the time I had my heart attack and now, I believe something was reset in my body. I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, this bitch had the surgery. Let me tell y'all something about that. I don't need to lie about my body. If I had some type of surgery, which I was thinking about years ago, um, I would definitely share that with y'all because that's not something that I would keep a secret or like, like who fucking cares? People do it all the time and it's saving lives. But I did not have the surgery. Um, this shit is not on purpose. I did not lose this weight on purpose. Like I said, between the time I had my heart attack and now, something in my body reset. And it's just like, I believe it's mental. So with that being said, a lot of the stuff that I used to eat, I can't eat anymore. Like, now I have some type of texture problem because, and no bitches, I don't have COVID. <laughs> I can smell and taste and all that stuff. It's just, I don't like certain things anymore and mentally I'm just like yo I know what this is gonna do to me I know what that's gonna do to me and I don't want it so basically after I had my heart attack I was still eating a little bit um of like fast food or whatever but then I noticed I would have a burger now cheeseburgers is my favorite food anybody that knows me personally knows cheeseburgers are my favorite food so beef I have a problem now with beef if I eat a burger, I know that, well, I noticed with my body, after I eat fast food, I'm immediately tired. Ugh, I don't want to do shit. So now for me, I stay away from shit like that because that to me doesn't feel good in my body. So I'm just like, yo, it's something up with the food these days like it was not like that back in the days i used to eat cheeseburgers all the time and never gain a pound i'm talking about when i was a teenager i was still small and it was crazy because now you eat a fucking cheeseburger and you're like 10 pounds heavier than you it's nuts all i know is i can't eat certain things anymore and all of it from my knowledge is mental so the reason why I'm sharing this story with y'all, I know a lot of people are trying to lose weight and a lot of people got it twisted and they're like, oh, I got to hit the gym, da, da 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 or I'll eat this and then I'll, you know, make it up and go to the gym later. Don't do that. It's all what you're eating. Yeah, exercise is cool. It's, go it's great for the body. I need to exercise because smoke break <laughs> I need to exercise because only for toning but as far as the fat honey all that going to the gym five times a week yeah that's good that may work for you but I'm telling you now it's what you're eating if you have a problem with weight and you look like this picture if you have a problem you still trying to figure out what it is it's your food i'm telling you it's what you're eating i don't know if it's not some type of medical problem it's definitely what you're eating and i say that because i don't eat a lot of shit that i used to eat and the weight came off you understand it just came off i mean my friends my best friend as a matter of fact works out every fucking day every day walks he's mad at me right now because he's like yo i've been doing this for years and here you come with your little not having an appetite having ass and you lost all this weight and i'm over here busting my ass and i, I haven't you know what i'm saying reached my goal yet and i'm just sitting here like dude it's what you're eating and he took heed to that and now i believe he is <laughs> diet in the way he's supposed to and that weight is going to come off of him really quick I'll, let, I'll update you guys and I'll probably bring him in here too to share his story because let me tell you something weight loss uh, it's, it's all mental I'm telling you it's all mental if you know like okay I'll give you another example of something that I eat that bugs me out TMI but dairy products I noticed it gives me gas so 
I stay away from it. You don't have to drink milk. They have substitutes for milk. I don't, I just won't drink the milk. Cheese fucks me up, so I stay away from that. So it's a lot of stuff that I don't eat. Now you go into what I do eat, man, this is where it gets complicated because I don't have an appetite, but I don't want you guys to be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go on a, um, <laughs> on a Donna diet of Cheez-Its, trail mix, water all day, every day. I stop drinking soda. Not completely. I only drink soda if I really need to during that time of the month because girl, you just, you need some kind of sweets or some kind of bubbly during that time of the month. Y'all know. So that's it. But other than that, I stay away from that. So the benefits from all of this, I can tell y'all, I can tell y'all right now because I wrote it down. Okay, so <laughs> with me losing the weight, I now have a fucking collarbone. I ain't never have a collarbone. Y'all see that? Like, you see that? That's a collarbone, honey. It's there. My feet shrunk one size. Like, I was wearing a seven and a half in girls, and now I'm a seven. Five and a half in boys, now I can rock a five. Crazy. I didn't know that your fucking feet get fat. Like, are you kidding me? That's bananas. Now I have space in between my thighs. Girl, I don't remember the last time I had space in between my thighs. Like, holy shit. I can stand up straight and there's a, there's a little gap. Oh, that's because my big ass thighs done shrunk. I'm not bragging. I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you the things that I noticed. And this is a course of, I would say since last year that this happened. That this has been happening. I'm noticing these things that I'm telling you now. Um... My arms are smaller. You guys probably noticed that from my shoulders, but my arms were huge. They're still big, but they're smaller. Um, what else? Oh, my hands are smaller. You guys probably like, eh, we, we don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> my hands are smaller. I have veins that are visible. I can feel my ribs. Crazy. I ain't never have or remember having a waist before in my life. Um, you guys notice, I know you see my face is smaller than it was before. Um, I don't really like that, y'all. Like, I miss my full face. It just, I don't know, it's just, I miss my full face, okay? My makeup application is not the same anymore, and I barely wear makeup anymore. And I could talk about that because with the diabetes, I had those dark patches on my face, and... I didn't know what that was either. I had the dark patches on my face and I had the the black neck. You guys, my neck is still a little dark, but if you guys look back in some of my old videos, you probably can't even see my fat ass neck, but, cause I was like this. <laughs> but um, yeah, it used to be black all around. It was just from the diabetes, it's crazy. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? My boobs shrunk. And I don't know what size I was before. I think I was like a 44 or something. And now I am a 38 double D. Yeah, I was like a 44 double D. Crazy, right? Your boobs actually shrink. Didn't know that. Um, Pretty much all I wear is sports bras now. And now that I know my size, I had to do that too. Another friend of mine told me that she had to go to Victoria's Secret and get size for bras. So I was like, boom, I'm going to do that because I didn't know where to go. So. I was about a good 300 pounds. I would say a good, I was topping almost 300. And I am now 185 pounds. You guys will see a little picture of that. And I literally just weighed myself today to see that. Um, I wouldn't say I'm starving myself. I do eat. Usually I get an appetite no lie during that time of the month because I get like pregnancy symptoms to where I'm just craving different foods and all types of shit. And I just noticed this month that those cravings actually made me gain weight because I just got this scale maybe two months ago. So I've been monitoring my size now because I'm like, you know what? I need to know how much I weigh 
to know what's going on with my body, why I'm losing weight so drastically, what is it that I'm eating or not eating. Or okay, so now that I don't remember where I, where I left off, I had to cut it off because I had to do something for Bella. So now that I know my numbers, I now, when I reached, when I first got my scale, I believe, I, yeah, I was still in the 200s. So yeah, I first stepped on the scale, I was about, 201 that was maybe two months ago and so now I got scale I know the numbers I had a goal weight and so I just started losing the weight because like I, like I said the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because it's the foods that you're fucking eating so now that I know because I lost my appetite, now that I can't eat those things, I know now what made me gain all that weight. You know, it was a combination of stress and what I was eating. And that is not healthy. I'm telling you guys, if you are struggling with weight loss, please just look into your diet before you get into the mindset of, oh, I can't make it to the gym. Oh, I'm too tired to take this walk and blah, blah, blah. I told y'all I told y'all what I eat. Um my favorite thing to eat in this that I never got tired of that I never lost my appetite for no lie is salad. You could give me a freaking chicken Caesar salad, bitch. I could eat that all day. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was eating that because that was the only thing at the time that I could tolerate the most is salad. And I never lost my appetite for salad so it's just like okay now I know all of these things so now I got this goal weight I'm at 185 now so my goal weight is 180 hopefully I can reach that by continuing to do this if you guys follow me I will post it I'll post my results or my update with you I'll go through the journey with you if you guys have any questions um, feel free to, you know, leave your comments down below. Again, I'm not doing this on purpose, but I'm just letting you guys know that there's a way to lose the weight without, you know, all of the crazy workouts and all of that extra stuff that people are scared to do. Most, you know, overweight people don't want to go to the gym because it's embarrassing or like me, I was like that. Or I, my thing with the gym, I even had a membership for like two years and never, I stepped foot in there one time. I didn't, I didn't want to go back. It was intimidating. I didn't know nothing about the machines. I was big already. I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready because I can move around a lot more, but man, I get it. But you want to start with your diet first. Just bust down them salads. Anything you notice um, that fucks you up, stop eating it, period. Like stop eating it. Okay, so my high blood pressure. I told you guys earlier in this video that I had high blood pressure. Now, cheeseburgers contributed to my blood pressure going up. Of course, I'm gaining weight, of course, but it contributed to that. How do I know that now? Because now if I eat a cheeseburger, I immediately swell up. So you guys also remember me telling you my hands went down. So with that, you know what I'm saying? If my hands are small, right now like right now they're pretty small if I go and eat a burger or anything from uh, McDonald's or anything like that any type of meat bread all that shit starts all together I guarantee you tomorrow my hands will be swollen my hands are swollen my feet are swollen not crazy because I'm smaller but I feel it like you feel it please get to know your body I tell my friends this all the time notice these little things because if I would have noticed these little things before I probably wouldn't have had my heart attack I'm trying to save a life right here or save a few lives because this is what happened to me and I definitely don't want it to happen to you again I didn't feel no type of pain when I went down so it's it's scary and it was scary for my friend that was with me that almost lost me it was it was just nuts like you guys by the grace of God, I'm here to tell my story. Um, I might have a part two. Well, actually, I will have a part two. 
as to the stress buildup and how you can get yourself out of a really bad situation and start all over from scratch. You can do it too. If I did it, you definitely can do it. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, again, leave them down below. I will answer you immediately. Um, you can shoot over to my Instagram and personally DM me. I always answer y'all. Um, so yeah, that's my story. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I thought it was over. Honestly, I did too. But I forgot the moral of this whole fucking story is. Drop the stress. Drop the nigga that's stressing you out. Drop whoever is in your life stressing you out. The chick to my fellas that's watching. Shorty stressing you out. She make you fat. <laughs> drop her. I'm telling you. like, Just drop the stress. Whatever is in your life that is stressing you out and is holding you back from your potential. Drop it. It's not worth it because you'll end up like me in the hospital with fucking heart attack at 43 years old. I was 43 at the time. I'm 44 now. So yeah, I got a whole life to live and I got time and I don't think y'all got time either. So drop the stress. You lose more than the fat in your body. You lose a whole however much that person weighed. You feel me? Yeah. So I talk to you all later. Bye. Three o'clock in the morning